Hi there, my name is Dan. I am a uh, chef. I've been a chef for about 15 years. I'm also a development manager for a, a series of food companies across the world. Um, and I'm doing some uh, videos to give people some hints, tips, ideas of how to cook better and potentially save money. And the big difference is we're gonna be giving you costs and information and tips along the way. Okay, so this is our first in a series of uh, recipes for you. So this one is a homemade pesto. It's very, very versatile. You can use it in sauces, um, pizza bases, roasting veg, add oil to it to make dressings, add cream to it to make a sauce or pasta. So very versatile. The ingredients we've got, first one is, and this is a real, <laughs> this is a real bugbear of mine. This is uh, vegetable oil. And the reason why it is, is because a lot of people, especially on the TV, are using extra virgin olive oil. Don't use it. Don't use extra virgin olive oil for cooking, um, uh, for anything like this as well, because it's a complete and utter waste of money. So what we've done is I've got um, from the store this morning some just standard vegetable oil, and that works out at around about 17p per 100 mil olive oil, 52 pence per 100 mil. So it's four times as expensive of, of just basic oil to go into a, go into a, uh, a sauce or a, a pesto. So that's the first tip. We've got some fresh garlic. Another tip for you is don't use uh, chopped uh, and pre-bought um, chilled garlic. That's full of thing called citric acid. So it makes it very acidic. All I've done with that is I've just peeled them. So just taking the skin off. There's a head of garlic there. It sounds a lot, but it's good. We've also got some fresh basil. Another tip there as well is make sure you use the whole of the basil, so the leaves and the stem as well. So it's again, you're not wasting wasting money. Um, we've got grana padana cheese here as well. So again, if you compare price-wise, you're looking around about two pound forty per packet of, of grated of, of whole cheese. That versus five pound forty nine if you go to something like a grana padana cheese, which is a traditional Parmesan cheese that you could use. If you want to go to Pecorino, it's even cheaper. So try that. And the biggest one of all is on the nuts. Pesto will normally have uh, pine nuts. I'm using walnuts. Difference there, you're talking about a pound and five per 100 gram versus three pound 50 per 100 gram for the pine nuts. So again, a massive difference in price and we've just got salt and pepper and that's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add walnuts to the blender. Don't forget this is an extremely versatile um, product as well. So you can use it for pasta sauces, add cream to it, pizza toppings. The big benefit is you can put it into a plastic tub once it's blended, airtight container, pop it in the freezer. That will last at least a year and you can scoop it out with a spoon straight out the freezer. So what we have in here is uh, walnuts. We've then got the one pack of the Parmesan cheese that goes in. All I've done with that is grated it. I've got a head of garlic, so a whole head of garlic, and I've just taken the garlic cloves and taken the skin off. That goes in. Again, it looks like a lot, but once you uh, do the whole mix, it'll be fine. And in there as well goes, I've got uh, four packs of fresh basil. So that goes in as well. Just shove that into the, uh, into the blender. And what we're gonna do now is add the oil. So the oil, like I said, is vegetable oil, it's not olive oil. Um, and the trick is you just add enough so we're going to blend this in a minute. You add enough to then turn it into a paste. So I'm going to add a small quantity now, around about half a jar's worth. And then we'll stop and we'll blend this in a second. And the trick is as it blends, it'll start to bind together. And that's when you then start to realize whether or not you need to add more oil or not. So you just let it go and then we'll add some more oil if we need to. Thank you. 
We're done. Right, so this is our, our finished pesto. Loads of flavor, no pine nuts, no olive oil, just as good if not better. Great for sauces, pasta, uh, dressings. And again, you can pop it straight into the freezer and scoop it out uh, with a spoon straight away. It's done.